Hi, in today's video, we're going to take an in-depth look at the trucker's hitch. Everything, probably, and more than you'd ever want to know. Stay tuned. Hi, I want to welcome everybody to the first edition to our deep dive into the trucker's hitch. Hi, if we haven't met yet, I'm John with Let's Go Now Adventures, and whether you're into tent camping, RV camping, or really any other outdoor activities, we create videos to help make your experience that much better. This winter into spring, we're going to be offering free courses here on YouTube each Saturday afternoon. These courses are designed to give you skills to make you more confident and prepared for any camping or really any outdoor activity. We are beginning with this deep dive into the trucker's hitch. You might ask, why so much time on one knot? The answer is twofold. The trucker's hitch is one of the most useful knots there is. And at the same time, we're going to be learning the slip knot, the two one half hitch knot, the tot line hitch, the alpine butterfly, a full sheep shank and a half sheep shank, the inline figure eight, and how to slip any hitch. With the knots you'll learn in this course, you'll have the skills and knowledge to master most camping knot tying situations. Over the next four weeks, we'll be using all of the knots I just mentioned to do a very deep dive into the trucker's hitch. Each week, we'll be covering different variations of the trucker's hitch. By the end, we'll cover six loop knots and three different ways to tie it off. You know, that's 18 variations of the same one knot. Make sure you catch all of the videos, especially the fourth week when I'll be presenting an experimental variation of the trucker's hitch, which I can't wait to share with you and have you try it. I'm excited to see what your results are and how well it works for you. Don't worry, this is the longest of the four videos. In this video, we cover the what and the when about the trucker's hitch, as well as we'll be learning how to our first variation in how to tie a trucker's hitch using an alpine butterfly tied off with a slipped half hitch. If you happen to miss an installment of the skills courses, I'll be including all of the links to every course in the description down below. You know, the next topic we'll be covering is basic land navigation and orienteering. So if you haven't done so yet, hit the subscribe button and the bell next to it and choose all notifications. That way you'll be notified each time we release a new outdoor skills course. So let's get to it. Here's the trucker's hitch and how to tie it using an alpine butterfly for the loop and tie it off with a slipped half hitch. So in today's video, we're gonna be going into a lot more detail about the trucker's hitch. You know that there are several other names that this knot is known by in different parts of the world. It's, also, it's known as a lorry driver's hitch it's known as a harvester's hitch, a hay knot, a power cinch, a wagoner's hitch, and a sheep, a sheep shank trucker's hitch. Say that twice fast. I kind of want to just throw out those names and call all of the variations I'm about to present the trucker's hitch. We're going to be looking at different ways to tie it. Now, I may pre be presenting some ways that are different than the way you were originally taught. We'll be looking at different variations of the loop. We'll be looking at different variations of the way to finish it. You know, the trucker's hitch technically isn't even really a knot at all. The trucker's hitch isn't really a hitch either. But what it is, is it's a compound knot that uses loop knots and hitch knots together combined to give you a mechanical advantage to be able to help put a lot more tension on a line, which can be really useful in camping. <laughs> And I want to show you the most common use for a trucker's hitch, and that's tying a ridge line. You're going to tie a ridge line. It's a tight rope between two fixed objects. In this case, we're using two trees. So the reason you need to use a trucker's hitch to create the best ridge lines is because you can put so much force on it. You need a lot of force when you're putting weight on a line like this because the span is so long, even a little bit of weight is going to cause the rope to sag. So you have to actually add a lot of tension so that that rope won't. Trucker hitch is perfect for this application. So it starts with some 
looped knot. It doesn't matter really what loop knot it is as long as it serves the purpose to create one of the pulleys for the trucker's hitch. Then what we're going to do is we're going to go around our fixed object like a tree or a pole, something like that. We're going to come back up and now the tree is going to act as one of the other pulleys. We'll run our line through the loop, pull it through, and now as we pull it back, you can see that I'm using a pulley system basically to create a very tight line for the trucker's hitch. So the way to tie it off, simplest way, is just to pinch the knot right there. There's enough friction on that tree that it won't pull. We'll just slip a half hitch in. The nice thing about that is it slipped half hitch is that when you're done, all you have to do is pull it and it releases your trucker's hitch. So once again, the trucker's hitch is a compound knot. It's a couple of knots that work together to form mechanical advantage. So you've got your loop, and the loop can be one of several different ones. The most common is the sheep shank version, but there's other versions that use different kinds of loops. There's also a hitch where you're going to tie off the knot to finish it at the end, and we can use multiple different kinds of hitches for that. Oh, like a two one half hitch, or a slipped half hitch, or even a taut line hitch. The trucker's hitch is a really useful knot. One of the reasons that I'm bringing it back up again, and we're going to cover it in so much detail today, is that it's so useful in the camping environment. There are so many uses for the trucker's hitch, but some of the most common are to secure a load. So you've packed your trailer or you've packed the roof of your car, maybe even attaching a canoe or a kayak to the top of the car. You need some way to secure that. A trucker's hitch is able to do that because you can exert the kind of force that a ratcheting tie down can um, do to keep your load safe. Probably the best use of the trucker's hitch is creating a tight ridge line. So it's a ridge line for your shelter or your awning. The other is it's a great one if you need to put a little bit more than normal force on a guy line. So securing the, the corners of your tent or your awning. You know, actually, the trucker's hitch is useful anytime you need to apply and gain a, a mechanical advantage on a line. You know, I find myself actually going to the trucker's hitch a lot for different uses that I hadn't even thought of. And so that's why it's a good knot to have in your little knot toolkit, because you'll, you'll come back to this knot and you'll find it useful over and over again. So what we do with that loop is we are setting up a block and tackle system. The loop is actually serving as a pulley. It gives you, in theory, a three to one mechanical advantage. Now, in the real world, that really doesn't apply because you've got friction at every point where the rope slides against a rope or the rope slides against a tree or your truck hook or something like that. That takes away some of the mechanical advantage. So you don't necessarily get a three to one advantage, but you do get a noticeable and significant advantage by using the trucker's hitch. One of the things I'm super excited about with this video is I'm gonna be sharing my view, which means that when you see the words my view at the bottom of your window, you'll be seeing the knot being tied from the same angle that my eyes are looking at the knot being tied. So it's as if your hands we're actually doing the tying. So we're gonna start with the alpine butterfly. So it's real simple. We're just gonna create a loop. We've got a loop here. So it, this just extends up to the load, this back to our anchor. What we're gonna do now is I'm gonna loop it again. So I'm just gonna twist. Now I'm gonna grab right here and we're gonna fold that underneath. So I've just folded that underneath. So all you have to do now is reach through there, 
grab this end and pull that through. There you've got an alpine butterfly. So we're going to tie the alpine butterfly. So what you do is you just take your and you're going to create a big a loop. So now I've got a loop. We'll make a second loop. So we'll just cross that over. So we've now got two loops. It's a figure eight. We'll grab the middle of the figure eight and fold that underneath. So now I've got that folded underneath. What we're going to do is just reach through this hole right here. Reach across, grab the one that folded underneath, and all we have to do now is pull. And there's our alpine butterfly. Another way to tie the alpine butterfly so once again, the alpine butterfly, you just run the line right over your palm, close to your thumb. Make another loop up by your fingers. And I'm just going to grab it so it doesn't slide around. We'll make a third loop and bring it right across between the, th the two. Then all we have to do is grab this outside one, bring it across the other two, then go underneath and pull it tight, and you've got an alpine butterfly. So now we're going to talk about the, the knots we'll use to tie off the trucker's hitch. The first is the simplest one. It's a single half hitch that's slipped. So we'll take our end after it's gone through the anchor and come back up. Now we'll put it through the loop. We'll pull all the tension. Once we've got the tension desired, all you have to do is pinch. And because of the friction on the rope, you can have an incredible amount of tension going this way, but just simply pinching it right there will hold it in place. While you take this, make a loop, take that and pull, the, go around your rope. And don't pull the whole thing through, just pull the loop and now you've got a slipped half hitch. I'm going to tie that one more time, but I'm going to twist my hand so you can see it from a different angle. So we'll pull it up. Now what we'll do is we'll make a loop and then we'll pull just a loop through that loop. I'm going to switch hands just so you can see it. So instead of pulling the whole thing through, I'm just pulling a loop through. And now we've got a tied off trucker's hitch. Hey, I wanna thank you so much for watching the video today. I hope you got some great value and at least learning how to tie this first variation of the trucker's hitch. You know, come back and see us next Saturday afternoon. We'll be covering the sheep shank version and the half sheep shank version of the trucker's hitch. I want to thank you very much for watching the whole video today. I'm John with Let's Go Now Adventures, and we'll see you on the next adventure.